Let's make a pact that we will never be like any of them down there. Afro bubblegum is fun, fierce, and frivolous African art because more often than not, black joy is not celebrated. And Afro bubblegum is an opportunity to celebrate black joy through art. We used color in Rafiki in a very specific way. We used color to be able to tell the story about the relationship, but we also used it to express Afro bubblegum. She has pink hair that is just kind of glorious and, and feminine and like bubblegum. It's like, it's really, it's pop. But at the same time, because of the world that they live in, it's very noisy. So it was full of color when they were in the world and out in the world. But when they were together, we kind of pared it down. We bring it, it became paler and softer and calmer to kind of show that the moments that they were in and they were living in were more peaceful and calm and befitting the relationship that they were kind of pursuing. As the relationship changed. We used darker colors, almost muddied colors, and we kept in referring to the metaphor of roses, like when a rose is in bloom and when it's crushed and what those colors do. And we used that language of the rose through the journey of the film. And I really think that it helped tell the story of, of the two girls and falling in love. <laughs> 